Hi everyone, welcome to Research and Analysis. My name is Dr. Kamran and in today's video I am going to discuss how to calculate Kronba Alpha value using Microsoft Excel. Although it is very easy to calculate Kronba Alpha value using SPSS, but for any reason if you do not have SPSS, you can still calculate Kronba Alpha value using Microsoft Excel. This video will consist of two sections. In first section, we will calculate Kronba Alpha value using Microsoft Excel. And in sec second section of the video, we will calculate Kronba Alpha value using SPSS. Then we will have the comparison of both Kronba Alpha values. And just to see if there is any difference between the calculations of Microsoft Excel or SPSS. So this is the data we have. We have uh, six items of transformational leadership, TL1 to TL6, and we have the data of 15 respondents. So in order to uh, calculate Kronba alpha value, we will use this formula. In fact, to calculate Kronba alpha value, we need to have three main things to use this formula for the calculation of Kronba alpha value. First of all, the value of K, which is the number of items. So here we have six items. So it's simple. So the number of item or the K value will be six. The second thing which we need is sigma square Y, I, which is refers to the variance associated with the items. In fact, we need some of variance associated with all the items. The third thing which we need to calculate Kronba alpha value is the variance associated with the observed total score, which is sigma square x. So number of items we already know, it's the value is six. Then we will need sum of variance associated with all items. So let me tell you how to calculate how to calculate the variance associated with each of the item. So let first TL1, put the your cursor over here, put equal sign and then just type variance, V-A-R dot P, this one. And after that, you can just drag all the responses which are related with TL1. And after that, just close the bracket and press enter. In that way, we will need to calculate variance for each of the item. So we already have put the formula here. So we can simply drag or extend this formula to all other items. So once we will have the variance associated with all the items, now we need to we need to have the sum of all these values. So for this purpose, we can use the formula. This one, put the equal sign, and then we can type sum, and just click. And after that, we can just drag all these values, and just close the bracket and now we will have sum of variance as associated with all the items and finally we need to have the variance associated with the observed total score and before calculation of variance we need to have the total score of all the respondents let us calculate total score of each of the respondent simply put equal sign, sum, and you can just drag all the responses of respondent one. Close the bracket, press enter. In this way, you can calculate the total score of all the respondents. Now we need to calculate the variance of all these totals. So we can put our cursor here, equal sign, and then variance 
where var dot t and we can just select all the total scores of all the respondents now we have the value of k we have the value of variance associated with all of our items and we also have the variance associated with observed total score now we are ready to calculate chrome alpha value put the equal sign and first of all in the formula we have k over k minus 1 so here the value of k is 6 and divided by k minus 1 6 minus 1 5 bracket close and then let put the multiply sign and again the new bracket 1 minus sum of variance associated with all the items so we have this value and then divided by variance associated with the observed total score and we can put this value again the bracket and we can just press enter finally you can see the chrome alpha value which is 0.8269 which we can say 0.827 so let me make it a bit larger so that you can have a clear look on the value so this is how we can calculate chrome alpha value in microsoft excel now we will calculate the chrome alpha value in spss just to see if we will get the same results or is there any difference in the value so here is the data same data transformational leadership consists of six items so in order to calculate chrome alpha value in spss just go to analyze and in analyze you will find this option of scale and in the scale you can just select reliability analysis and since it's there and uh, the items are already selected here let me reset and from here you can just drag all the items you can just put cursor on the first item press the shift button and just press all the items and just click ok and this is the output and this is telling us the chrome alpha value of transformational leadership is 0.827 which is exactly the same value as we have calculated in microsoft excel so based on this result we can conclude that the chrome alpha value can also be calculated through microsoft excel as well as you will find the same results in spss and also in microsoft excel i hope this video will helpful Thanks for watching.